Hello from the land of TV. This is King Cool. And welcome to the Toast Reviews. For those of you who don't know how this works, I watch a movie, I uh, put something in the toaster, and I talk about it until my toast is done. Um, but today, we're right at the end of the Horrors of Romantic Comedies Month. Um, and all five of these pictures were picked by a friend of mine. And I ended it with the one that I thought would probably be the most painful. Uh, which is, if after I saw he's just not that into you, I knew I was wrong. Um, so here at the end we have Legally Blonde. And here on the show today are Thomas's Honey Wheat English Muffins. I know they say to cut these things with a fork, but I have never cut a uh, Thomas's ba uh, thing properly without um, shearing it to pieces. Like in having it that the top part is not just totally screwed up. Did I mess up the focus when I kicked the uh, camera? I could turn on the other one focus, but I think you can hear it. Well, I know you can hear it, I just don't know if you can hear it over me. Anyway, here we go. I don't know, um, for this one, this one didn't bother me as much as I thought, but, like, can I still like the house bunny and not like this one? I don't know, because they're sort of similar, um, but, like, they don't, obviously, since it's, I, I swear that the house bunny is legally blonde from a guy's perspective, because they almost never, like, objectify Reese with a Spoon, what was her name, L, except for when she sends in a movie, uh, to get her admissions to Harvard, um, and she's, like, emerging from a pool, and water is trickling down her perfect abs, and it's just like... I'm almost sort of not used to this, um, because she just seems so innocent and so, like, non, like, non-sexualized. Uh, it's just like, oh, okay, hey, is this where we want to go with this? All right. It's the only time it ever does it. But, um, so, but the thing is, her boyfriend in this, she thinks, oh my god, he's going to propose today. And then it reacts that, that one scene that, you know, who I'm going to bring out here, but, you know, the funny thing is I can't actually find my regular players today, so, um, I don't know where they are. So, uh, please put your hands together and welcome, uh, some of my backup players. Hang on, I'm going to have to focus this. Like, oh my god, he's going to propose tonight, I'm going to go to the store. I think this, um, player is particularly uh, appropriate for this instance. Hang on. Yeah, I might want to turn the autofocus on for this. Do 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 do. Later at the restaurant. You know, I've got something I've got to tell you, sir or madam. Pfft, I, don't know. I just woke up. Don't look at me. Oh my God, he's gonna propose! I'm so happy. We should break up. What? Yup. I took the thing that you were expecting with good news, and I gave you bad news. Oh, I'm so mad. It's gonna make me change this whole movie. Ah. Or... Yeah, it's a little weird using general error that way. But I don't have a name for the other player. If any of you guys want to come up with one, um, I have my ideas, but turning off drunk vision. Okay, um, so then she's like, oh my god, I'm going to go to law school and, um, win him back. And I'm like, you know, let it not be said that King Cool knows everything about the ladies. In fact, I certainly don't. But, you know what's the one thing I never like, really ever thought about in my life? is like winning someone back. It's like, no, once they say something like that, once they totally diss you like this, freaking leave their ass. And then it's like he constantly disses her. You went into Harvard Law School, but, I mean, come on, but you're just not that smart. It's like, well, she was apparently smart enough to get a 177 on the LSATs. But on the other hand, that means that this entire time has she been living down to her potential? Like, and all she cares about is, uh, oh my god, glitter, or whatever the hell women care about. And then, now her fiancé... I suppose a lot of time is supposed to have taken place between her dumping her and her getting into law school. Um, but her dog doesn't age. Her dog's the same age, unless 
uh, you know, it's, it looks like a puppy, but I, it certainly looks like it didn't get any older. And then she has a fiance, you know, now he's got a fiance, uh, with, um, in Selma Blair. And I really like Selma Blair as an actress. Um, I like her in Hellboy and all sorts of stuff. But she is really vicious here, which, I mean, you know, is what they were going for. But then, spoilers, probably through the movie they have a little moment of reconciliation and, but then it sort of doesn't make it and then there's this and friggin' um, it turns out that one of um, Elle's um, sorority sisters isn't um, is uh, on trial for murder so um, she uh, has to go help her but she has an alibi but her alibi is that since she's like a, a fitness guru that she was out getting liposuction on her ass and she's like, dude, if you told everyone, that it would ruin me. And I'm like, maybe it's just because the Lance Armstrong thing has finally cracked and done this. But I'm like, you're helping defend a liar here. And it's like, it wouldn't it be better to just clear the air here, not go to jail for murder and etc. So I'm like, okay. So obviously she's going to do that thing in the movies they do where it's like, okay, I'm not going to do it that way. Hang on. You look pretty toasty, if I do say so myself. Hang on. Look at that. Well, let me... Oh, that's not going to focus. Who needs autofocus? Eventually, I might just have it that I'm wearing a separate microphone so that I can have autofocus. Um, but some of you guys are thinking, hey, you know, you did, um, themed, uh, themed, um, like, uh, dark wheat and things. This one isn't that. It's honey wheat. Yes. But I haven't gotten to the spread. This is... Dark chocolate dreams with peanut butter and blended with dark chocolate. Ah, scary. This stuff is... I didn't really like it at first. It's starting to slightly grow on me. Though I don't know if I'm going to buy it again. It's not, it's not better than Nutella. I say that. There's one moment in this movie that I thought was legit sweet. And that's the thing about the, I liked about the house bunny. As far as I remember, it's a very sweet movie. Except when they turn into um, vapid bitches and just, you know, turn into the, sort of the things that... that I, I'm not here to talk about that one. Okay. Um, was that she's walking past one of her friends. That's one of dorky guy who apparently is getting a law degree on top of six other degrees. And she hears two women sort of cruelly shutting him down. And then Elle runs up to him and slaps him and says, How come you didn't show me up on my date here? Uh, and he's like, What? I, or, you know, you know, he gave me the best night of my life and blah, 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 you know, and, and sort of says that, but then just leaves. And I'm like, You know what? That's a spontaneous, sweet thing to do. The thing is, nothing really in the movie outside of that is like that. Like, she never really does anything else like that. I'm just gonna eat the last half. Oh. So. So, I don't know. I didn't like it. There were moments I did, but. Uh, I don't know. Again, I suppose it's not for me. Weirdly. Which one of this one's kind of reminds me of um, my coworker friend, who I'm, uh, who I got all these suggestions from. Maybe that's why she likes it so much. Anyway, I'm gonna eat me here this here toast. We're finally at the end of um, this month, and uh, I'm gonna go f try to find the players. I don't know where they are right now. Anyway, this is King Cool. If you got a suggestion for November, go ahead and let me know. Thank you all for watching. This is King Cool. Drive home safe.